everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so when i upload readings you guys will be notified and don't forget to join the new my cards never lie member squad to get early access to our videos and special content that will be posted on this channel all right now that i got that out the way <laughs> let's jump into these messages when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I kept picking up the energy. Um, it's sort of like the universe is saying, don't let this boyfriend or this girlfriend keep you from finding a husband or a wife. Somebody that wants to play games, the universe is saying, trust your intuition with this person. What you feel is happening, what you feel is taking place, it definitely is. You're holding back on something. I don't know. Maybe it's that you're not ready to leave this person just yet. Or you're still trying to investigate certain things. Some of you know this person is lying. You know they're not being truthful. And the universe is saying it is time to walk away from whoever this is. We have not compatible We have single, shadow work. Somebody needs to do some work on themselves. It says, uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. Um, sometimes when the shadow work card comes out, it could mean that you've repressed your energy and your behavior and your feelings to, to get along with this person. But this person needs to do some work on themselves. Because they're not showing up the way you need them to. Um, if this is not you, then this could be the person you're dealing with. Or if you're cross-watching, then it could be the other way around. So take it how it resonates. Flip and reverse the roles as need be. And just keep in mind, you know, every message that comes out in this reading may not be your message. But you may be able to pick up something that's going to be helpful for you. All right. Um... So we have not compatible single. So you may look at yourself as being single. You may feel, maybe you're in a relationship with this person, but you feel single. And you're like, how the hell am I in a relationship with them? But I feel alone and I feel guarded. Like you don't, you don't trust loving this person. You're like, I can't love you the way I want to because I don't trust you. We have breakup, journey, and addiction. Some of you are dealing with someone. Oh my God, these incense are like stressing my life right, right now. Um, some of you are dealing with someone who has an addiction. And I feel like it hurts to break up with this person. It hurts to walk away from them because this is someone that you truly love. But they may be choosing drugs over this relationship. Or they may just be choosing drugs over you know, their life getting themselves together. We have a change in direction will lead you to the heart that's meant for you. We also have advancement. Oh... Your light irritates their demons. We have I love you. All right. Um, let me just put this down for a second. I feel like there is someone here who loves you, but they may be low-key jealous of you in a way. Do you tell this person about your goals, about your ambitions and what you plan on doing? And it's like they don't give you any encouragement. They don't say... You know, I'm happy for you. You know, I'll jump in and help you. It's sort of they act like they don't want to hear it or um, they may try to ignore you or talk over you or bring up something else. Yeah, your light irritates their demons. There's something about you that's ready to take off. The universe is like, listen, you're ready to take off where you already have. And this person see you. They see you coming up. And they don't even know what to do about it because this may be someone who's not on your level. It's like they wish they were. It's not that they don't love you because they do. We are bonded in eternal love. I will love you forever. I've never met anyone like you. This, we, this is so small, y'all. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you. 
I think about you all the time and I know you're the person for me, but am I the person for you? Wow. So this person knows that you're right for them, but they're like, am I right for my person? That's why I said they know that they have some work to do or they need to curb this addiction. You're about to level up. Prepare yourself to take the next steps in your life and show the universe that you're ready. The universe is pushing you forward and they're letting this person watch you. And it's like they can't be happy for you. They're, they're like jealous because they either wish that it was them or they don't want you to talk about it because their life is not going right. So they don't want to hear about good things that are happening for you. Or things that you're you're planning for. We have not meant to be. For your highest good, this connection will be denied. Some of you are with someone where you may not be meant to be with this person right now. New love. Look what just came out. We have not meant to be new love. And be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Some of you have new love coming in and the universe is trying to tell you, you know, they're blocking this connection for a reason. So if you're feeling like you can't just get, you know, you can't get along with this person every time you turn around, you guys are arguing and going through something. And you're like, I don't even know why I'm feeling this way. I don't know why they're feeling the way they're feeling. The universe is trying to tell you something. The universe may be blocking this connection because this person has lessons to learn or they have work that they need to do on themselves. They're not ready to be with you. And you may be trying to figure out why it's so hard to love this person or to be in this relationship with them. Don't let someone who's playing with you keep you from finding real love. You may be feeling like it's not even out there when the universe is telling you no, it's out there. We have cutting ties, text message. See, this person is going to, um, we have cutting ties, text message, obsession, unsent messages. Um, either this has already happened or this is coming up, there's going to be a time where you're going to be like, you know what? I need my freedom because we have awakened. You're going to want to cut ties with this person. You're going to be like, I can't take this anymore. We have these red strings of fate here, even though you're fated or you may feel like you're fated to be with this person. It's like I'm hearing like not right now. You're not. But this is someone who may not even let go. We have text message, communication, phone call, obsession, focusing too much on the situation. And then we have unsent messages. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. This is someone who's not wanting to let go because they know they're not going to be able to find anyone else like you or replace you or um, get, they may feel like they're not going to get you back if they let you go. Like um, I'm hearing the universe say, we also have power couple. Some of you may meet your power, uh, your person, and you guys may be a power couple. Um, this is someone who may feel like, okay, well, if we're not meant to be together right now, and I let them go, will they come back to me? Like, if I work on myself, will they wait for me? Well, some of you may meet somebody else. We have next year. And ambitious partnership, making boss moves, building a relationship with a power, you know, power couple. So you may meet the person that's on the same page as you. They want the same things you want. They're like, I'm moving forward. I'm building a business. You're like, okay, well, I'm moving forward and building my business too. We can help each other. Yeah. And this person, they're afraid of that happening. They're afraid of you being able to further your life without them. They know they're not treating you right. This is somebody who knows that they don't deserve you right now. We have faded meeting, meant to be, destiny, predetermined. There's somebody that you're going to meet. 
and you may feel like, dang, I wasn't even expecting this, but the universe was. The universe was expecting it. Major Arcana next year. But I feel like this other person is going to be looking you up. Like, why are your why is your energy changing? Why is your behavior different? Why are you pulling away from me? Let me see what you got going on. Let me see what's on your page. Let's see who you're talking to. And this may be somebody where you can't even get them to call you back or text you back. And then all of a sudden, they want to look you up and be nosy. You're like, no, don't look me up now. Mind your business. <laughs> because you didn't want nothing to do with me before. You didn't want to be bothered. When I would text you, you would ignore them. So why are you looking me up now? Like, what is so interesting about me now? Because I pulled away from you? Because I found new love or new love has found me? Yep, and look at that. Look what just came out. Knowing they effed up and kissing your ass. So guess what? I feel like before this person actually lets go of you. Now, if you're serious about letting someone go, it's nothing that they can do to keep you around. You know, they can talk all they want. They can text you all they want. But if you're like, I don't want you anymore. You know, I'm going in a new direction. It's nothing they can do about it, but feel like this. Um, but someone know they effed up bad. Just expect for this person to try to kiss your ass because it's coming. They're not going to just give up just like that. Especially if this is someone that you've been with for years. They may act like they don't care, but they do. Because if they didn't care, why would they be looking you up? We have messages. Spirit is sending you signs to help guide you in the right direction. Pay attention to any dreams that you may be having. Any sequence of numbers that you may be consistently seeing. Look those numbers up. Because they mean something. You know how sometimes when you dream and then you wake up and you can't remember what you dream about? Don't worry about that. Don't get upset. Like, I get upset about this in town. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, what was the universe trying to tell me? But um, you'll get messages in other ways, okay? And then sometimes you'll have a vivid dream where you can um, remember everything that, that happened. Okay? So pay attention to that. We have luck and love, unexpected. Some of you are going to meet someone when you least expect it. We have within three months, and we have lies. We have unexpected luck and love. Be careful of someone coming back to you lying just to hold on to you and to keep you around. Because we have walking away, an unknown caller. But you're going to know if this person is lying or not. Because you're going to be like, you didn't change that fast. You're just telling me this to keep me around. You don't have any intentions on changing. You only have these intentions on changing because I said I'm walking away. It says in order to evolve, sometimes you have to leave what you've outgrown. Some of you have outgrown this person. Um, also pay attention to any unknown numbers that come up, you know, like sometimes they could be telemarketers, but other times they may be, may be someone using that text free app. I don't know if you can only text on that app or you can actually make phone calls. I'm not really, um, sure like how that app works, but a lot of people still use it. Somebody may even call you and hang up on you. They just may want to hear your voice and you're going to know that's them. And we also have um, your love life will soon shift into a positive direction. Oh. oh, my God. I almost lost control of this entire deck. We have once you back peace and contentment and ex lover conflict resolution. There's an ex that's coming in the way of this situation, but this person needs to figure out what they want. Because I feel like they keep running back and forth between you and this ex. But you're like, no, I want peace. I need peace and I need contentment. And if you can't give me that, then we can't deal with each other. 
We have conflict resolution. Somebody may come towards you and try to resolve this this inner like issue like overnight because they know that they're better off with you than without you. It says a blessing in disguise will soon make its way to you. And then we have compromising, making amends, a positive outcome. Yeah, I'm telling you, don't let this person... Where did that card go? Pay attention to everything that they say. Shit, even if you have to record it, record it so that when they don't do it, you can play it back for them and be like, remember when you told me you were going to do this and you were going to do that? You know, were you trying to just keep me around because you didn't want me to go and be with anyone else? That could be good for me. Because this person wants you back. But I feel like they're going to say whatever they need to say to keep you around. And it may be lies. It may not be the truth. So the universe is sort of warning you against that. This person may feel like I'm fighting for my life here. I'm about to lose the person that I love. Even though they didn't treat you right. They still don't want to lose you to anyone else. We also have love yourself. We have live differently. Yes, yeah, some of you are going to be confused. If you're giving somebody the cold shoulder, you may be confused about this situation, but the universe is saying you are always enough as you are. It's time to make your happiness a priority. Listen to what your inner self is saying and telling you. Well, you got three of these. I didn't even see this card hiding behind this one. We have lived differently. Real progress calls for not just new thoughts, but new patterns and doing things differently. And then we have walking the path no matter where you are right now you are exactly where you need to be for the next best thing to happen you have three angel wings cards that came out here back to back that means the universe has stepped into this situation for certain um the angel number 582 or 249 could be very important to you so look that up and see what it's saying see what type of messages it's giving you and then the next card that we have is red flags we have fighting and give less fucks maybe this is what you're doing you're like i'm tired of fighting with you i don't trust you things are always one-sided you're always detaching yourself from me and then when i tell you i'm leaving you come running back in trying to fix the situation well universe is saying be aware of these red flags pay attention to them all right let's get some tarot We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody lost their job or they feel like they need to get a better job in order to get themselves together. We have the Four of Swords. They could be thinking about this a lot. Maybe they feel like getting a better job will help out you guys' connection. Yeah, because they're not trying to walk away from this. The world is reversed. I said that. I said they're not trying to end this cycle with you. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could be the Scorpio. And you want someone to get a better job so that you guys can be able to do more and have more and take trips and maybe move together. Some of you live on your own and you're like, I want to move with this person, but will they be able to pay the bills? Will they be able to um, contribute? All right, let's see. The Page of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. We have the Moon and the King of Wands. All right, so we have Pisces and Leo energy here. Some of you are Pisces dealing with a Leo, or a Pisces dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. But um, this person turned their back on you. Things are not what they seem. The universe is telling you be careful trusting this King of Wands. They could be coming back with an offer, but they're showing up as a page and they don't have much to give, but they may make it seem like that's not the, I'm hearing that's not important or that's like, that's not what our relationship should be based on. And you'd be like, okay, so what is our relationship based on? Because all you do is lie. All you do is de detach yourself and withdraw and be inconsistent. So if our relationship is not built on what you can actually do to help me, so that we can grow then what is it based on because somebody may feel like um 
you want them to have more money or you want them to be further along in life. I feel like someone, again, as I said in the message cards, they don't have their life in order, but they get an attitude with you when you talk about it. And I feel like you're just trying to help this person, but they don't see it that way. Um, a fire sign here. They don't see it. They they take it. It's like they let their pride and ego get in the way, but you're really just trying to help them. But then at the same time, when things are going good for you, they don't congratulate you. They don't say um, good things about you. They may look at it as you're bragging and when you're really not. All right, so we have a full reverse here, Aries energy. The Four of Wands reversed. Your cards are just flying out of the deck. The Six of Cups. Somebody is having nostalgic feelings, a lot of memories. But also, whenever the Fool is reversed, it's like you keep taking a leap of faith and you keep um, trying to trust your heart. But it's a false start with this, with whoever this is. You're tired of the false starts with this person. You're tired of going through something with them and then you guys starting over and they promising you stability, but you don't see it because the four of wands is reversed here. Some of you may be married to this person or engaged to them. Or it's like you guys talk about marriage, but you're like, when is it going to happen? And how is it going to happen? The way things are going, you're like, this. Can't, it can't be likely that it is ever going to take place. Yeah, we have the justice reversed. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. It could be an Aries dealing with a Libra. You find this person is very wishy-washy. They can't ever make up their mind. One minute they have all these plans with this Ace of Wands. And it seems like there's going to be a breakthrough. And then it doesn't happen. You feel like things are unfair with this person. Also, you feel like you need to watch your back. So this is someone definitely that you don't trust. You're very guarded. You're like, I can't open myself up to this person and love them wholeheartedly because they've hurt me so much in the past. Someone may be reaching out to you, offering you an olive branch to, to make things right. But you're like, I don't know. You're like, what if I trust this person and I take them back? Or I say, okay, we can work on this relationship. And then they go right back to being or doing the same thing that they were doing. That they promised they wouldn't. Like some of you are going through that now. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. The high priestess universe is saying, trust your intuition. Walk away. Yo, look at that. You are going back and forth like, I don't know, what should I do? The universe is saying, I know what you should do. Walk away from the situation. There's a turning point after you do. The will of fortune is going to move. Like this will is going to move in your favor. I didn't mean to say the will of fortune is going to move. I meant to say this will is going to move in your favor with the will of fortune showing up here. There's changes. And remember, we did have faded meeting here. So you have the will of fortune twice here. Meant to be destiny, something that's already worked out. It's already in the stars. It's already uh, like it's yours. It belongs to you. And the universe is like, what are you waiting on? Why are you letting this person block your blessings? It's not fair to you and um, they don't even, somebody don't even deserve the treatment, the love, and the emotions that you give them. This person needs to miss you. They need some tough love. They need to be without you. The five of pentacles in reverse, leave their ass right in the cold. They ain't have any problems leaving you in the cold when they did it. Yep, detach. The devil is here. Some of you could be a Pisces dealing with a Capricorn. The universe is saying it's time to detach from this person. This is somebody who um, 
with the six of wands reverse they make people think that they're someone they're not and you know exactly who this person is and what they have and you're like you, you may even see them being fake and being fraudulent on social media I don't know, when I see the Six of Wands reverse, that puts me in mind of someone who's not successful, but everyone think they are by the way they dress or things that they say. They may put certain quotes on their page and, you know, everybody's liking it and you be reading like, this ain't even who you are. <laughs> this is not even what you are about, sir or ma'am. Like, knock it off. And you'd be wanting to say something, but you'd be like, no, nah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit in my high priestess status because I know I have an, you have an inner knowing of things that are going on behind the scenes and you know who this person is and everybody else don't. So you'd be like, I'm not even going to trip about it. I'm just going to go ahead, be great, post that stuff or, or say, say what you want to say. But I know that you're struggling behind the scenes. I know who you are when you're not posting on social media, you know, when you're not putting quotes on there and when you're not um, posting pictures and things like that. All right. Yeah. You know, the six of wands in reverse is like they have somebody fooled, but it ain't you. Yep. And look what came out behind it. The seven of swords. So you're like, keep being sneaky. You're like, because I'm not going to keep missing things that are meant for me because you want to be sneaky and go behind my back. So we have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands. And we have Sagittarius energy here. We also have the Four of Cups. This person knows that if they let go of you, you're going to be a missed opportunity for them. They're not going to, like, you're not going to miss out on anything, but they already know they are. This looks like someone who's trying to make a choice between you and a third party. They're going to take action towards you, but they still plan on holding on to this other person because it's working for them. Look how this person has a smirk on their face. They're like, I'm not ready to change. I don't like the five of swords in the upright. I love it when it's in the reverse because it means that they're ready to compromise and, you know, they want to try. And even though they've screwed up in the past, they're ready to um, not fight anymore. And, and maybe take some accountability. The five of swords in the upright, this person don't want to take accountability for anything. They want to sweep things under the rug and they want to come running back towards you, being all passionate. And you're like, I'm not going to keep falling for this each and every time. So some of you are not falling for this anymore. But I still see someone either sneaking back towards you or being sneaky about a situation. And that's why the universe is saying, cut their ass right off, even if it's temporary, okay? You cutting them off may be exactly what they need to change because we have the Seven of Cups, the Hangman, the Five of Cups, the King of Cups. Yeah, we have water energy here. We have the Sun. Some of you are going to find out something about the a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you already did and they're regretting it. Or they're regretting you walking away. And even though things are delayed on their end, don't think that this person is not thinking about you. Because they are. They feel like they messed up the situation. They have a lot of regret and a lot of remorse. They're just not saying anything. This could be someone who's like, okay, I know what I need to do. But I don't know if I'm ready to do it with the Seven of Cups. So there's delays on, on their end. But the universe is saying, keep moving forward. Um, we have Leo energy here. Also, when I see the sun card, I just feel like the universe is telling you that there's happier, better days, brighter times coming in for you if you're struggling with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Let them sit and wallow in their own misery, in their own pity of feeling this five of cups energy this could be part of their lessons and something that the universe wants them to deal with or go through doesn't mean that you have to we have the king of swords there um 
Okay. Some of you are dealing with an air sign that's not, there's, this person is not ready to change. The death card is reversed here. The Ace of Swords is reversed. The Ace of Cups is reversed. And the Five of Wands is here. This is someone that you guys are fighting with as we speak. Um, both aces is, is reversed here. So there's going, if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and you're fighting with this person, and you guys aren't talking, and you're waiting for them to talk or to fix the situation, there's going to be delays here. Because this person is resisting change. You could be a Scorpio dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And you know what? Also, this is somebody who wants a new beginning with you, but they need to stop being narcissistic and thinking that everything has to be their way. With these two aces in the reverse, like, that's crazy. If these aces were in the upright, I would be able to be like, okay, this person is coming in. They're going to try to do the right thing despite the argument or the conflict that you guys are having. Also, there's there's a lot of people involved in this situation with the five of wands here. Someone could know your business. Or they could be dealing with multiple people. I don't know if this is family members or friends that are in you guys' business. They may be listening to other people. People may be telling them things about you. Things that aren't true. Oh, okay. So we have the Emperor Reverse, the Star Reverse, the Lovers, the Page of Swords, and the judgment. I'm just going to grab this King of Pentacles, this Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. Um, this person still sleep. They need to wake up. I feel like they will once they see that you're not going to keep forgiving them and letting them get away with something. They're watching you, though, with the Page of Swords. This person spends a lot of time trying to figure out your business. We see the, um, the Page of Swords was in this reading twice. Um, I saw it come up in the message card somewhere. I don't know where the card went, but um, there's an earth sign here that's very sneaky. They spend a lot of time looking at you some type of way. Sometimes the page of swords can mean that this person is looking at text messages that you may have sent them where they could have not responded to you, but yet they're still, you know, rereading something or looking at photos or um, trying to make some sort of decision, but they're still stuck in some sort of way with the judgment card reverse here. I do see that there is love though, but I just feel like that's just not enough anymore. Some of you may be dealing with a twin flame or there's a huge decision here with the lovers that needs to be made with an Aries and an Aquarius. So you could be an Aries dealing with an Aquarius and the both of you may be feeling like, okay, let me think about this. What do I want? I need to make this decision and I don't know how to make it because the both of you still love each other, but you just feel like we're just not getting along right now. All right, let's get one more. Oh, wow. The tower just flew right out of the deck and the 10 of cups reverse. You're like, should I leave? Should I stay? I'm never going to be happy with this person or that's how you feel right now. One thing I will tell you, though, that this tower is happening for a reason. The universe is trying to get you to see something. Take that blindfold off so you can really see what's going on here. Because I feel like someone needs like you may need a break. You may be, need to step away from this to clear your mind and and get unstuck here because you feel trapped but you're not this person is walking right through this gate but they still feel stuck in some sort of way they don't know which way to walk here there's a lot of uh, water and it looks like mud and stuff on the ground here I feel like something needs to like things are falling apart because this either needs to start over 
um, so that you guys can fix what's broken or you need to take a step back from this so that you can see what's really happening here and see a way to get your happiness because you feel like you, you can't. You're like, I can't possibly have wish fulfillment. I can't possibly have um, a family with this person the way things are. Or you may just be feeling like we keep going through things. We keep fighting and arguing and things keep happening. This person keeps cheating and, you know, you keep confronting them about it and they're lying. You're like, everything is just falling apart. Like, yeah, take a step back, figure out what you need to do for you. Give less fucks, okay? <laughs> Basically. And if you need to give this person the cold shoulder because you're confused about the situation and you need some time to figure this out, figure this out, the universe is saying do so. It's time to put you first, not them. Love yourself, okay? So those are the messages that I have for the reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.